What's going on guys? My name is Doug. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm very happy to see you guys here again today. I know I look a little scruffy. Forgive me for that, but uh, it's this, this quarantine lifestyle. You know, I, I haven't been keeping up so much with my haircuts and with, with my beard trimming and all that. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm sure you guys look terrible as well. Today, we're going to be listening to three new Godzai Katana beats. Now, for those of you that don't know, Godzai Katana is a producer who makes awesome beats, uploads them to YouTube. His YouTube channel got hacked, unfortunately, and while he tries to handle that with YouTube and try to get his channel back, he made a new one called God's A Katana Reborn. He's already got over a thousand subscribers on there again, but he had like 40,000 on his other channel. So if you haven't been aware of that, uh, and you were a subscriber of his, be sure to go onto his new channel, subscribe there in case he doesn't get his old one back. And um, if you guys enjoy the beats that you listen to today, then absolutely go check out his beats, his work on his channel, and um, be sure to subscribe there because he's absolutely phenomenal. I've done two or three videos already showcasing some of his beats. He really enjoys them and he asked me to do another one. So uh, it's just that easy. Hit me up on Instagram, talk to me, and I would love to make a video for you, for your music. We can talk about pricing and things like that. Or if you just wanna submit for putting y'all on, that's free. And uh, there's an episode that drops the 15th of every month. And so if you wanna submit songs for putting y'all on, Hit me up on my Instagram DMs by April 15th because that's when the next episode drops. And um, yeah, so God's a Katana hit me up and we're going to be listening to three new beats today. So I'm excited as always. He is just a phenomenal talent. I really always enjoy his beats and uh, I'm just excited to hear what he's got for us today. So if you're watching this right now, by the way, I've probably also uploaded the reaction to the three new deluxe tracks on um, The weekend's new album, so be sure to check that video out after this one as well. And uh, with that out of the way, just be sure to support the channel so that these guys that I am showcasing on my channel uh, also get more and more recognition as the channel grows. The people that I put you guys onto also get more and more plays, more recognition, and so um, you know how to support the channel. Subscribe, share, comment, like the video, Patreon, membership options, sharing the video. I will leave that up to you. Support however you see fit, however you would like to. And um, with that said, Let's just jump right into it. The first beat that we're gonna be listening to today from Godzai Katana is called Hi. Uh, the links to these beats will be in the description if you wanna go check them out, by the way, so. I'm loving these samples. kept the drum pattern really simple the 808 pattern is also relatively simple because he really wants that samples the the samples to do most of the heavy lifting on this beat uh the sample choice in itself is is great but the way he, that, he, that he chopped it also was uh really interesting i'm really digging those like female choir like vocals in the samples uh, the way that he mixed it too it's, it's really clean you can clearly hear every single sound uh, everything is, is nice and separated in its own space in this mix. There's no mud in it that I can hear. Yeah, the sample just sits really nicely over these drums. I think that so far the bounce has been awesome. I like the way he's playing with that open hat too. Yeah, that crash is so nice. <laughs> Some really cool beatbox drums there. Now he decided to go ham on the drums. Oh wow. This is climactic. Yeah, just awesome instrumentation. Great bounce to the drums. Very climactic feeling coming out of that bridge. Uh, that breakdown with the beatbox drums, you know, having the strings come in. The sample is really manipulated very, very well. It's chopped really nicely. I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. You know, the the... The beat is just tremendous. Just the, the actual musicality to it is brilliant. And um, it's one of those beats that you almost have a hard time figuring out how someone could actually rap over this track or sing over this track because it sounds like a song in itself. You know, it's so, so nice. It's, it's super clean, man. I really like it. The next beat we're gonna be listening to is a beat called End of Me. It's a free, free for nonprofit, Kanye West, the life of Pablo type beat, so. Let's see what this sounds like. This is crazy. That really re 
reverberant snare is nuts. Yeah, I was kind of lost in that one, you know? It's so easy to drift off to. Uh, the, the strings in the beginning are, are so haunting almost, and they're, they're so isolated, you know? They're by themselves, and they're, they're eerie, and they go on for a little bit, and then we get these beautiful keys, uh, these haunting little melodies in the background, and out of nowhere, this really punchy kick, reverberant snare, sick bass line comes in. Um, and the, the melodies just kind of take a back seat to this vibe, this like eerie, almost creepy vibe that he's creating. And this one definitely has so much space for vocals, for harmonies, for um, ad libs and for things like that. I mean, Kanye definitely could rap over something like this. That bounce really does sound like something that Kanye would, would flow really well over. Yeah, the musicality is just really interesting. The instrumentation, like the arrangement that he actually had for it was really cool. Bringing the strings back in and then out again you know, with the drums, taking the kick out, always changing something up in order to keep us interested for the full, you know, six minutes of this beat. But um, yeah, it's just really well put together. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think that it's not as melodic per se as that first one because of all the samples that it had. Uh, so it's not necessarily as catchy of a beat, but it's it's dark and it's gritty and it's experimental and uh, you, could, you could make a banger with it. So really like this for different reasons. Um, it's just in a different vein from that first beat, you know what I mean? This last beat is called The Storm Is Coming. It's a The Weeknd and Kanye West type beat. Uh, this sounds straight out of Starboy. section right here is so epic. Those like horn synths during that beat switch up were really interesting man. Um, very like gritty rough sound to that beat switch up and before then it really sounds like something straight out of Starboy like seriously it sounds like it's a the weekend beat you know what I mean uh, I could definitely hear these artists on this on this track I think that again it's really well put together it's got some very experimental sounds to it it's got some edge to it it's not just the traditional you know hip-hop or trap beat that we're used to with uh, the hat the snare you know the kick and the 808 with some some melodies over the top this is this is different. It's got experimental sound choices and, and sample choices. It's got the, the synths that are weirdly placed and it's got the, the the grit that somebody is looking for if they're making a track that is going to stand out, you know? So I really enjoyed this beat as well. Uh, that's Godzai Katana, guys. He's a fantastic producer. You guys should definitely check out his work on YouTube. I don't, I'm I'm sure he has a BeatStars page too, I think. I'm going to link it as well in the in the description um, and be sure to check out his work be sure to subscribe to his youtube channel in case his other one you know he doesn't manage to get it back and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you all enjoyed uh, be sure to support the channel support these artists that i'm putting you guys onto, and um, i'll be back in another video very soon until then stay safe everybody peace out